boss time. We're going to do what we can. I don't know all the timings, but I'm going to do what I can. Let's lower his defense. Now, I personally like it when... Oh, that was way early. Way early. I like it when I have a speed on game. And he starts to count down. Oh, so early on that. Okay, you, you need to heal yourself. Okay, down he went. That is... That is not good. That is not good. We need to get that going. We need to go for as much damage as we can on you while you're weak like that. This is not starting well at all. I only missed a couple blocks, but sometimes that's all it takes. I haven't actually faced him in a while, so it might be a little strange about it. Right there. We're gonna do what we can. Really? Back down? Oh. But we're not doing so well. We got a partial there, but that's not that's not good enough. Let's get that going on him. Alright, we'll do what we can against you. Oh, missed again. Missed again. I'm always early. I can sense it. Yeah, just like that, you know, I can be able to get to where you guys are. I should probably deal with the fruit fuckers when I can. The game's already fast, so increasing his speed is always good. You know what? Heal him. I think I'm late now. I think I might be late. There we go. Got the block. Let's go for the monkey. Let's go for the fucking monkey. Now, in my opinion, this was the hardest fight of the entire game. I'm gonna do my best to show it off. Incoming steel devil, let's go for it. That was a very nice go for it. He was a psycho. I wasn't as good as I was hoping for, but it's something. Okay, dynamite hit both of them? No, it does not. I feel like I should have known that. Did I not lower his defense? I don't think I did. I'm not checking right now. Oh, it's not that. I didn't lower it. We're, we're knocking him down until he heals. And that's it. Alright, let's deal with these guys. These guys are annoying me. Oh, way early. Not even close early. Fucking heal. Everybody needs to heal constantly. Everybody needs to be alive. I don't care if I use all my items. There's lots of places for me to recover them if I need to. Alright, you should be able to finish this off. Why, why aren't you finishing this off? Oh, freaking like jump. Fucking jump. Uh, no, you. Get him back. Alright, I got the block there. Alright, critical overload! Go for it! Do what you can! No, oh, what am I doing? I missed the first one! It was the first thing that popped up and I'm like, yes, that's a thing. Let's get, let's get a healing glass on everybody. That'll at least help a little. Let's 
Now these guys need to die. Why I couldn't target them before, I'm not entirely sure. But these guys are being annoying as all hell. And if I take them down, it should help quite a bit. That was a monkey? You're ready to give, aren't you? Alright, Gid comes in first. He blocked Gid. And he didn't hit everybody! He missed! How could you miss, Gid? You missed the guy that you were gonna kill! Alright, you finish him. Oh, there we go. They, they warm it up, they do all this shit. Keep on forgetting all the little animation does. Alright, we got him. As long as I get a perfect here. Oh, that's right, Adria does need to overkill on this one. As long as I get perfect here, we should be able to stun him. Maybe he's immune to it, though, probably. All the times where I'm like, yes, this is perfect, they're like, no, nope, not gonna happen. And no stun. Okay, well, I got a partial. Go for a helium here. Okay. He does the countdown again. But I'm going for it. Doesn't do as much damage as I would like. He's got. He's got the defense going. Let's lower that again. Defense down. How's that feel? Can't get the counter attack. But. Wait. Is he down? Is he down? Alright, I got the blocks. Come on, down for the count. Let's see if I can do good damage here. I almost missed that one because I was looking to see if I still had the defense down. Indeed, I do. Okay, this fucker needs to go. And he's back up, isn't he? He's fucking back up. No, wait. Put that on him again. Then go for this. Hopefully you guys remember what order I put that in. That was key to everything. Alright, defense down, and then victory. Fuck, I don't want him to have victory. I want Adria to have victory. Shit! I messed that up! Yeah, I didn't do shit. I can just, I just whiffed on it. Cause I want Adria to win here. For the overkill. As long as he doesn't heal, as long as he doesn't fucking heal. And he didn't. I win. Adriel wins. We get the overkill. That's all that I care about right now. Down he goes. Did I necessarily need it? Probably not, but I got it. I got it, damn it. Level 29 already. Yeah, give me some healing shit back. I'm going to need it. And that is another boss fight down. I'll meet you in the fair. And here next to the lever of the future, we can find concept art number 11 on the peanut stand. I still have a little bit of work to do before we do make it to the end, but I did make it to the Ameliorator, so we're moving along. Now, I thought I had grabbed this one, but apparently I did miss it. The lemonade stand back here has concept art number 10. We only have one more concept art to go. And here near the very end of the game on the lemonade stand, you can find album number four, the 8-bit Precipice of Darkness. Then, if you head over here, on this green statue, you can find concept art number 12. And as a result, we have unlocked a comic strip. An original Penny Arcade comic strip that is available 
in the agency screen. So we'll take a look at that when we are done with everything else. And it's final boss time, so to speak. We're up against this thing. It's still very disturbing. Yes, it is. No, we don't need to get you. All right, let's throw the monkey. All right, we got blocked. I have been doing fairly well lately with getting the hits in, uh, but ultimately, I'm far from getting the achievement. In order to get the achievement, you need 20, or, sorry, 40 hits. I'm just over 20, so I'm halfway there. Doubt it's gonna happen, but I'm gonna keep going as best as I can. At least I got a critical here. As you can see, though, still not all that powerful. Yeah, in order to get the, the hit counter up, what you need to do is hit people while never getting really hit yourself. So blocks and counter attacks only. If it's partial block, it does not count. It will count against you. All right, there's some damage. Granted, we still got a little ways to go, but that's at least a start. Get that blocked and go for some powerful stuff here. Try to be quick on the draw as best we can. There we go. Level 89, nothing to complain about. We're getting there. And we got the block. Unfortunately, there was a critical there. Block. There's, they seem to be pretty forgiving when it comes to blocking that. Pretty forgiving. Always faster. Block again. Let's go for the, oh, citric acid. I don't know if I'm gonna block this. Oh, I got the block in. Nice. All right. Uh, I should probably heal. I mean, what else am I gonna really be doing here? All right, heal everybody. Kill everybody. There we go. Helium gas. And we're good. We're good to go again. I'm kind of waiting for div and, and blood here, but they're not coming quickly, are they? Lock again. Oh, we can only do one at a time. Only one support character at a time. Yeah, who would have known that the final boss of the second game would be the robot's penis, essentially. Apparently, it's not that much of a weak spot. Well, it is compared to the feet, I guess. The feet were insane. And if you want to get the complete uh, enemy list, you do need to die to the feet. I did die a couple times doing this, especially when I struggled uh, getting timing right. Uh, especially early on in the game when I didn't have too many... I didn't have too much... Uh, too many items. Oh, does the Talonite Bomb do it? I think it does! Down goes the robot penis! In a way it walks away. That's, that's it. Yeah, everybody is maxed. Hey, I got my helium back. That is nice. And once again, we get the save. I will show the final boss fight, and then we will go over all the things that I have earned uh, now that I do have a 100% complete rate. I, I should check that before I go to the end, though. But I did get it, I swear. And it's an actual final boss time, even though this is still kind of a scripted battle. I'll show it off as best as I can. I missed the block, though. It doesn't really matter. I know the combination. It's three. Oh, we hugged them so good. Three, one. And then two. And then we win. That's all it takes, really. I'm gonna have to use some items to get to this point, but there you go. Adora bombs for the win! And that's the fight! And now that we have completed the game again, let's take a look at our completed game. We'll go with the one that I did just now. 
and we will see what we have waiting for us here. We can actually, like, go back? Uh, no, they're not gonna let us actually go back. I didn't think so. Uh, but you can see that I did get all the parts. You'll see that our little fruit fucker has turned... I would say gold, but that's kind of an off gold. Uh, that happens though, once you get all of the robot parts. As you can see, the difficulty is kind of broken because it was on insane mode. Uh, I did finish all of the cases, right? But of course, uh, this is still to be continued. We're still looking for a house, but everything else is closed. Yeah, we even... Got a case closed on Steel Vengeance. Confront Dr. Mordo Von Mundo atop the giant orange. We did that and we won thanks to Anne Claire and her robot out of nowhere. Where the hell did that thing come from? But we got all of that done. Uh, we also went through most of what is here in the dossier. Notice that I do have a... Uh, yeah, wait, was it going to show up? No. Uh, it... It kept on showing it, but it's not going to show the whole thing. Okay, so we got all of this done now that we do have the cardboard tube. Everything does change. Uh, but then uh, everything else on everybody else is the same. We also got all of the enemies. We do have a Fruit Fucker Prime, as it turns out the big guy is called. I didn't get a chance to show this off before because by the time we defeated him, the game was over. He's level 70, we were level 30, so maybe we'll be powerful enough to take him out one day. He had 470,970 points. I don't know why he needed the 970, uh, but uh, we could have gotten a ton of experience off of him if we were good. This vile tower of groaning metal is something between a machine and an unholy idol, infused with the yearnings of a ravenous god. Strengths, everything. Weakness is nothing. Attacks his dark work. It's fucking nutritious. Fruit punch and treetop. I don't remember seeing too many of those. We do have the Opticator module. This is the one that we fought before taking on Fruit Fucker Prime as a whole with Anne Claire. This is the one that we saw. Uh, once again, all the, is that all the same? Uh, no. Uh, he's a little faster. Uh, he's got serious lack of attack compared to his whole self and his defense is god awful compared to you know fruit fucker prime but that's what happens when you just take on the head this impenetrable wheelhouse holds among other things the mad scientist and sorcerer dr mordo von mundo uh weak is versus uh, special attacks and talonite not that it was necessarily useful definitely not to the point where you could win uh, he had bedroom eyes feed reamer and dark stimaga and his attacks incur a damage debuff and he has a high hp stat to say the least and then we did have penetrator module that was only level 33 so all in all kind of low considering uh, he, he's uh, never skip penis day kids uh, but you do get uh, 9,000 experience for him. If you're already not up to, to level 30 by that point, either you're seriously skipping enemies or it's really not going to help. This is the final boss, technically. You just have to last long enough on Opticator. Uh, you do get, well, a high-speed stat. That would explain why he was thrusting so damn much. The strengthium tipped prong is architecture's sworn enemy. That it is. Attack uh, and defense... Lower attack than the head, but more defense than the head. Doesn't make sense to me. Attack, just the tip. Citric acid and fly my pretties. I don't think I saw fly my pretties this time. Uh, but I believe we saw it the first time. Strengths, once again, the defense debuff. Uh, and the high speed stat. Weaknesses, never blocks. Weak versus explosives. Not that I used them. It wasn't really necessary. Uh, then we do have the NPCs. I don't think we saw Dr. Mordo Von Mundo. Look. Oh, no, we did because he's the Spelling Bee champion. So that is all of that done. Uh, inventory. I might use this one. I might use the other one uh, when I reload uh, in the next game, which we are going to do eventually. We'll see. Uh, I'm still short one item. Can't remember what it was, but uh, we, we did not get it this round. Uh, collectibles. I do have all of them. Let's take a look. I believe it goes one here. That's div. 
with the phonograph. You do actually need the phonograph from your episode one save file in order to pull this up. From what I understand, he does a weaker attack if you don't have that phonograph from episode one. But I had it, so I haven't seen it without it. Uh, then we have the evil comb and evil calendar. Oh, that kitten will kill us all, won't it? I knew it. Then we do have the shotguns. We have the sawed-off shotgun, the double-barreled shotgun, and the omnibus. I do admit, that looks awesome, even if it's holding a book. But books in this game are awesome. Then we do have uh, us in the... The sanitarium? Is that what they're calling it? Uh, in the loony bin. And there are some people that we had to take on. He doesn't have a gun like that, though. That's a Tommy gun, you know? He had a shotgun. Then we do have the upgrades for Gabe. We have the Swiss Army Knuckles, the Machete Hands, and the Manacles of the Iron Maiden. This one, I don't know what's going on in there, but it looks painful. Then we do have Mr. Tails. He was so helpful when he was fully upgraded. Then we have the Wealthy District. This guy, uh, and his monocle laser. That was hard for me to time. I don't think I ever got the timing on that. Then we do have Charles. Pulled straight from the comics. As is the Cardboard Ninja. In case you thought, hey, I don't recognize that. It's, uh, I believe it was originally a reference to Kill Bill. Uh, Gabe would dress up with his normal Pac-Man shirt. Because that's what he normally wears in the comics. And then uh, he would he dressed up like Kill Bill with the cardboard tube. It was awesome. Then we do have... The monkeys, we have Ahab, Cyrus, and Hirohito, which I didn't know the monkeys had names, but apparently they do. Then we do have the hose, the garden hose, the twin hoe, and the hoe of tomorrow, but we switched those in for a cardboard tube, which is apparently better. Then we do have the robot monkey fighting arena. We can see Cyrus there. Very nice. And finally, we can see Dr. Mordo Von Mundo. That is what we get. And we get the bonus comic for collecting all 12. God damn it, you guys. We told people there were going to be birds in this game. It was right there in the bonus strip. We promised them a suite of genre-defining, bird-oriented experiences they couldn't find anywhere else. Guys, it's not going to happen. You want, like, a hundred rare birds. What about my vision? Your vision is extremely expensive. We're a million dollars in the red on this fucker. And that's just the motion capture aviary. <laughs> that's something. Uh, Gabe wasn't in that one. Kind of odd. Just tie up. But th that is the comic that we get. And then we do get the bonus collectible. Hopefully this will be used in episode three. Uh, they did have to switch companies as I went over before. So hopefully the new company is cool with... Uh, keeping this small little promise that they made here. And we do have all the music. Uh, you get the fifth and final album by beating the game. So that that's how you get all of them. We'll start with uh, the 8-bit Precipice of Darkness. Cool. Now we have the Enigmatic Overture. We're going to get the music, right? Music, yes. That was a clip from the end of the game, uh, just kind of scrambled up there. Uh, I guess it's a teaser if you look at it before you beat the game. Uh, Jasper, bring the car around. The theme for the Riverbrook Park Estate, definitely. Some things man was not meant to know.
Once again, we have definitely heard this one. So finally, a madman and his violin. Yeah, this one was not my favorite. This one was the music that played while we were doing the mini game, so that's why it's not my favorite. Well, we'll do a precipice of darkness. Does it stay as I go back? It does. All right. Uh, so let's take a look at Jim. And uh, outfits, we did get all three this time. Seems like I picked the best one. All right, let's take a look at the stats finally. And as you can see here, 100%. All cases solved, all enemies defeated, all fruit fucker parts collected, all support characters, all concept art, all music tracks, all outfits, all insane collectibles, which really wasn't that insane. Just not telling me when uh, the block needed to happen. Outside of that, it wasn't too difficult. Weapon upgrades, I got all six. Overkills, 100%. And in plot results, I am a pervert, but I think you guys are already aware of that. So that is 100% of the game completed. And that is going to do it for these bonus videos of Let's Play on the Rain Slick Precipice of Darkness, Episode 2. I've been Baller Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by fucking robots. Gabe, Tycho, and Adria. Hope you guys have enjoyed this entire Let's Play. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.